Hi and welcome back to the MyGo YouTube channel. My name is Shane, the founder of MyGo. We've got a really exciting grow light test today. We've got in the Horticulture Lighting Group Quantum Board. This particular model, it's a QB288 V2 3000K, that's a warm color temperature. So this can be used as a grow light on its own or as a module, so there's multiple units are used. For example, I think it's the HLG 550 is their, uh, one of their flagship larger models and that has four of these pieces combined together and pre-built. Now the one I got, it is a uh, DIY board. So I just bought the board on its own with this lovely, um, what it's called, a slate heatsink black anodized heat sink on the rear. So this board came on its own and it must be uh, mounted onto this board and then it's got to be connected up to a driver. You can buy this in, in different formats. So you can buy it as a kit form where you get the board and the heat sink only and you can add the driver yourself and all the wiring and the screws and everything. You can then get a version of the board, the heat sink, the screws, fixings, hangers, and the driver together as well. There will still be a bit of assembly required, so you need to, to screw the board onto the heat sink. You need to make connections, uh, which are pretty simple to do now. They're just push in connections here on the um, LED board. Connect the two wires from the LED board into the driver. So uh, the additional part then I've done, it's recommended uh, for protection of the LEDs to add a piece of acrylic sheet plastic, uh, clear plastic onto the front cover and that just protects the LEDs uh, from scratching or water or dirt. Um, if you do get particulates, anything goes onto the surface of the LEDs and they're illuminating, it causes a hot spot and it will burn them out. So uh, it's wise to, um, to have a cover of them. That's what I've done in any case. Uh, the connections to the driver then, I've just used two one mil square um, cable. As it happens, I only had multi-core cable. For these um, little connectors, it is best to use a solid core. So instead of the multi little, lots of little strands in the wire, it's just a solid core and that'll be a bit easier to make those connections, but you can use both. Uh, use a terminal block then just to connect the driver. In this case, it's a HLG 120H54. Uh, I'm using a B version. Um, it's 92% uh, efficiency, this one, and has an external uh, dimmer on it, potentiometer, so I had to buy a potentiometer and mount it on externally. I think that's better than the version with the potentiometer on board, just because it's a plastic screw inside the driver for the potentiometer on board, and if you turn it a lot, uh, you may round that plastic screw and lose the dimming function, which has happened to me in the past and is very annoying when you spend 50, 60 quid. 50 or 60 euros on your driver. And of course, just a mains plug on the end. So it's a very nice, neat setup. I've run this, the maximum power runs up to 130 watts uh, with this driver. So that's running at uh, about 50 volts and about two and a half amps uh, at full power and it is about suitable for a two foot by two foot grow space running at 130 watts possibly just a little bit bigger than that but that is the area i've tested it in in order to get a real feel for the light i've uh, done two tests so first of all we put the light uh, we hung the light in the center of our test area here. And I, uh, because I didn't get any information on um, coverage or hanging height or any of that sort of thing, 
uh, there's nothing on the website or there's no manuals with the board so I had to self calibrate so luckily I have a quantum sensor so I hung the light in the center and I dropped it down uh, this is with the open environment no walls and I dropped it down until I was getting about a thousand power in the dead center which is about the, the maximum you want and uh, that height in an open area is 30, uh, 27 centimeters. I then, we then took a reading of the um, spectral output. Uh, these are all 3000K uh, full spectrum white LEDs. So the spectrum is really no surprise. You can see it there. It's a regular 3000K color spectrum. And then once the light was calibrated and set up, I took the measurements of the total PPFD output over a 1.2 by 1.2 meter area. That's our, our total grid here. So we took 64 measurements and uh, here is the result for the total power output in an open area. So as you can see, the real effective area of the grow light is in the center there, um, which is about two foot by two foot. And the at 130.2 watts, the total output is 249 PPFD. Uh, and divided by the power, that gives an efficiency of 1.91. So compared to the V1, which is about 1.8, that's an increase of about 5%. And then, of course, because you go nuts if I didn't do it, you'd think it was unfair, and you may have a point. Uh, we put a two by two walls around it, and with mylar uh, lining on the in, in inner walls, and took 16 measurements in a two foot by two foot or 60 centimeter by 60 centimeter grid. In this case, because the light intensity is, is greater directly underneath because you got the extra light from the reflection uh, of the walls, I had to raise up to 35 centimeters to uh, limit the center point measurement under a thousand. And so the result was uh, an output over that two foot by two foot area of 266 uh, PPFD. Again, it's 130 watt power consumption. Uh, and so the total, uh, or sorry, the efficiency for the unit is 2.05 micromoles per watt. So previously, just looking at the board, we had uh, 1.92 for the QV120 4K. That was in a two by two. So we've got an increase again of about 5% of the V2 over the V1. But overall a fantastic piece of kit. Very good value, very innovative. Um, and yeah, really enjoyed testing it. So, um, yeah, oh, uh, just one moment. Got this guy to come. So we're going to test that next and uh, we will post a video. This is the Elite light engine, uh, the QB96. So it's a small little guy with a, just for fun, pin fin heat sink. I think they're great. It's really good fun. So yeah, going to bolt them on, test the same, give you the power results. So keep an eye out for that. So I hope you enjoyed. And then any, any comments on the test or the setup or anything else you want to know, please let us know in the comments below and take care. Bye.